Who do you trust for news and information? That's a critical question and answer for us to know here at News for Jax. Yeah, new research released by UNF shows that you're turning to us. It also shows that you think we've got some work to do too. And you know, over the last several years, the media has kind of taken a hit in the press, as ironic as that sounds. I spoke with UNF's director of the Public Opinion Research Lab, Dr. Michael Bender, says there are highs and lows to report in the recent poll concerning local and national news. People, by and large, trust local media here in Jacksonville. More than, you know, on average, you know, three quarters of the folks here you know, trust the information coming from local news. And I, and I think that that's a good takeaway. Voters in the poll said they turned to News 4 Jacks most often, the highest response with 37 percent. A majority say they believe local news outlets report news accurately and provide news they can use every day. And more than half the people responding all said that they don't think local news sources are doing well in these areas, holding leaders accountable, dealing fairly with all sides, covering news thoroughly, being transparent about reporting, or including people like them in stories. I think there's there's definitely a lot of nuance when you get into the specifics about what people think news is doing well or not so well. And reporting the news accurately, I think, is the first step, right? Because if you don't trust the accuracy of the information you're getting, you're left nowhere. So that's important. Dr. Bender says part of the reason for this particular poll is to understand what's called the fourth estate and how people use or rely on journalism in a democratic society. Whether it's on Channel 4, whether it's in the local paper, whether it's on radio, uh, those are things that provide us with the information to make informed decisions. And knowing where people stand, what they think, what they think maybe the media could do better, uh, whether they're willing to pay for things or not, I think have real implications, and, and I think everybody's better off knowing about it. The UNF poll also asked about perceptions of the budget for Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. Dr. Bender saying that Democrats are about 40 percentage points more likely than Republicans to view the JSO budget as too large. You can see the full results from the poll inside this story on newsforjax.com.